Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to incorporate keyboard movements into your Turtle Graphics project. First things first is I'll be showing you through the setup procedure and then I'll be showing you four movements. So left, right, forwards and back. So first things first is to create our windows and our player. And we do that by typing in, firstly importing Turtle Graphics as T. So wherever we mention T here, we're calling the Turtle Graphics module. And we create our window by typing in T.setup. It specifies the dimensions of our screen. And then we create our window by typing in T.screen with a capital S. The next thing we need to do is go down to the bottom and type in T.done. And that goes at the end to let um, the code know when it needs to run and that it is finished. Next thing you need to do is create our player, or which is our pen in this case, that we use to draw our lines. And we do that typing in t.turtle with a capital T and then shape equals classic. And what that will do is that will create um, our player with um, the classic shape, which is an arrowhead. And the next thing we do is um, specify the size or change the size from its default size um, on the screen by doing by typing in player dot shape size and I put one one one. The next thing to do is turn the background to blue by typing in player dot screen dot bg color and then in quotation marks put blue. And then we're going to be changing the actual color of the player or pen to white and then the lines that this player draws to be white as well by typing in player.color in brackets white and then player.penColor and then in and quotation marks white as well. So um, for colors in this case you, um, you can put in quotation marks and then the color you want. If you want to change the color you can put black, green or leave it as it is. Next thing we need to do is um, create our keyboard inputs and what's going to happen is we're going to create some functions and then we're going to um, link those functions to a key and then we're going to have our window listening for any keyboard inputs so that's how the keyboard movements work so first things first is we need to create our functions so the first function we're going to create is forwards and so I do that by typing in def forward def and then the name of the function which is uh, forwards for direction forwards and then um, below that we want to know we can tell the um, action that's going to happen when that function uh, forward is called and that function is player dot forward 45 so when this function uh, forwards is called we're going to go forwards 45 the next thing we need to do is we're going to create our turn left function and we call we call that turn left and then the action to turning left will be player dot left 90 and this will turn the player left on the spot 90 degrees next thing you need to do is do the same thing but turning right on the spot so def turn right player and then the action is player dot right 90 and that will turn the player right on the spot 90 degrees Next thing to do is go backwards. So we've got the, uh, similar to the forwards one we created first, input um, dia back, so to, for direction back, and then the action is player dot back 45. So these four functions will make the player move forwards and backwards, and then it also turn left on the spot and right on the spot. The next thing we need to do is we need to link the keyboard to those functions. And we do that by using the on key command and we're caught we're linking it to the window not the player this time so we type in window dot on key and then in the on key we're linking a function to a key so on key firstly name the function in this case forwards so dial forwards the name of the function and then we're going to link it to the up key so we put up in quotation marks and that links a function to the keyboard input and we do exactly the same thing but for left right being left and then right being right and then back being down 
If you didn't want to use up, left, right, down, you could also change this to be, you know, W, A, S, and D, and so on. Um, or any other keys you want. So what we've done now is we've linked a function to a key. Now we need the window to listen out for when those keys are being pressed. And we do that by typing in window.listen. And that is our code completed. So when I run this code, we should have a blue background, a white um, player with drawing white lines. And then we press keys on our keyboard, it should move around the screen. So let's run this. Run it again. Here we go. And run it just to be safe. And then, so let's go right and left on the spot. So if I press the left key, we go left 90 degrees and left again, left 90. And then if we do the same thing right, notice we're going right. So now we're facing upwards. So it's, this is why I chose the classic shape because you can see very clearly what where the um, player is facing. So if we go up, we draw the line, a white line going up. And if you go back, we go back. So if we go up again, we turn right and then forwards. Notice that forwards changes depending on where the player is facing. It's not forwards, it's not always up. Forwards is the direction the player is facing. So if you go right and then forwards and then right and then forwards again. One thing you do have to be careful of is pressing two keys at once. Sometimes it does go a bit funny like that. So just make sure you press one key at once. And you can create some really awesome shapes. You know, you keep going, you can go all the way around the screen, start creating your own trails, all your own shapes, and you go forwards, and it makes drawing so much easier. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. That's all I have to show you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out more of my videos. Thanks very much for watching.